Hello again YouTube, it's Skylar. Welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about losing your friends through your transition. Which will happen, unfortunately, because that's the society that we live in right now. So, before you transition, you may be inclined to tell lots of your friends, and you may find that a lot of them happen to be supportive, which is a ruse, because they're not. <laughs> because as soon as you actually transition, you will quickly find out who your real friends are, because the ones who aren't will disassociate with you very quickly and no longer contact you and block you from all access. And I don't think that people that do that to their transgender friends realize how devastating and, and hurtful that really is, how detrimental to a person's sense of self can really can really manifest. For transgender people who are in the process of transitioning or are pre-transition, you are going to have to be prepared to lose most, if not all, of your social contacts. And that's a sad reality, but it's something that you need to mentally prepare yourself for because, believe it or not, when you transition, you will lose friends. It will happen. It will happen. And it's going to hurt. It's going to hurt for a long time. And those those wounds don't heal very quick. quick. <sighs> as far as trying to gauge whether or not someone is going to be hostile towards your transition, you can't. Because people are very good at trying to mask their bigotry and their hatred towards you. They're very good at making excuses why they no longer want to associate with you. In no way does that have to do with you being trans, even though it does. It, it has entirely everything to do with you being trans. And that's why they've disassociated themselves with you. So my advice to people that are in the process of transitioning you need to prepare yourself to be ready to accept the mourning of losing a lot of friends. And there's no easy way to go about, go about that. You're going to have to accept that reality, move on, and find new friends, which will happen. You will make new friends. You'll make lots of new friends. But you'll have to say goodbye to a lot of old ones, too. And that can be really tough. I don't think that I personally will get over some of the friends that I've lost ever. Some of the closest people that I've known that I thought were the closest friends that I've ever had who abandoned me within the blink of an eye, which really shows the content of their character and how they feel about treating other people who are not themselves. For people who are not transgender, who have a transgender friend, or have a friend or an associate that is going to transition, do not abandon them. Do not treat them differently. And in all honesty, if you're going to be transphobic towards a friend, own it. Be transphobic. Admit who you are. Don't try to play games and hide behind your bigotry because it doesn't work. And we can see right through it. We can see you're a bigot right through your lies about why you no longer want to associate with certain groups of people. So just own it. Say you're a bigot. Say, I don't want to be your friend because you're trans. Because when friends are telling you why they don't want to be your friend anymore, 
and it's always around the same time that you started transitioning, whatever they tell you, it's almost 100% it's because you're trans. They may say, oh, well, we don't have anything in common anymore. Translate, it's because you're trans. Well, I don't have any time anymore. Translation, it's because you're trans. Well, I've found new friends because you're trans. It's always not you being trans. It's always some other reason, but it's because you're trans. It's because you're trans. It's because you're trans. And they're just trying to hide behind their bigotry because they know that it's not popular and they don't want to be labeled a bigot, which they are. <laughs> it's as easy as that. So that's my rant on that. Sorry, probably a little bit of projecting there. But for people that are transgender, you do have to realize that every stage of transitioning is going to be a challenge. And your social life is going to be no different than that. It's going to be affected. It's going to be detrimental. It's going to be obliterated. It's going to have to start fresh with a clean slate. And you're going to have to build from the ashes up. That's just the reality. You can't do anything about it. You can't. You could, you could sit down with these people and tell them six hours straight about why being trans isn't a choice and why you're this way. And they're not going to get it. They're not going to get it. They're not going to get it. It's not going to penetrate through their mind of their simple-minded thinking of their whatever they truly believe transgender to be. Your opinion is no longer valid because you're trans. And that's how they see it. And there's nothing you can do about it. So just move on. It's time to move on with your new life, with your new sense of identity. And part of that is leaving behind people who can't support you and you don't need those people in your life those people are toxic so just get rid of just it, move on so with that said I hope that was not too much of a rant um, I believe that will conclude my video for today I hope all of you have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye.